The uh, Western elites wanted to destroy Russia so they can conquer the whole world. Well, I think they will go after China next. After they, if they destroy Russia, they will go China. They will go after China. Uh, it's a good video about the relationship between the geopolitics in the it was a good video of it between China and Russia and all of this uh, let's put uh, uh, Ukraine, China, Russia. Oh. So Russia is winning in Ukraine. The West cannot defeat Russia. They cannot defeat Russia on the battlefield. Their initial plan to defeat Russia through economic sanctions failed. So now having failed with their initial shock and awe economic sanctions and then the military Ukrainian counteroffensive, you know, this continued failures, they have opted for a long-term economic attack, uh, attack long-term economic solution. Mm -hmm. They want to deprive Russia of any means to sell oil or gas to Europe in the future. And if you can... Uh, yeah, I think that this video talks about like how much... Uh, anyway, I'll leave, leave it there. There is a gas field close to Gaza that belongs to the Palestinians. I believe the October 7 attack was instigated by Western Israeli or intelligence agencies to provide a pretext to take over Gaza and gain access to this gas field. And then this video talks about that, the first one. Uh, I mean, I kind of read about this because other people have talked about this. This this, uh, this, this video sort of summarizes it well. Um, these elites believe that they can take the gas from this Gaza field and sell it to Europe, thereby preventing Russia from selling its gas to Europe and defeat it economically in the long run. I think this might be a bit of a simplistic st statement, but because you have to factor in China, Iran, all of these players are kind of interlinked. Um, I don't believe Israel wants to defeat Hamas, or rather, well, I don't believe that is the only goal. That is only a side goal. Or I'm not saying the Israeli government allowed the October 7 to take place. I think there are factions within the Israeli in military intelligence ruling elite. There are these elites, economic, political elites, um, and they have their uh, agents or operatives in intelligence agencies in the military and they can use those operatives to carry out operations like sabotage you know Nord Stream for instance or blowing up the Iranian gas pipelines and they have factions you know it's not like the whole Israeli government is doing this but they have they have these elites these 
have they have their operatives within the institutions of the military industrial complex and perhaps in government that who can perform these sabotage false flag uh, provocations in order to promote certain political objectives so it's not like I'm blaming the Israeli whole government for it, but I'm, I'm, but there's their factions who are doing this. Uh, this is the Western elites' plan. I think the Russians know this. You know, Putin always says, you know, what did he, what did he say recently? There, there are elites in Western countries who are unfriendly to Russia. These people are just diabolical, evil cartoon villains they want to control the whole world but this is how like uh, very few people can have so much influence and this is sort of how things are being played the media is like western media is completely owned by propaganda psyop hopefully people are waking up to it the, the the psychological information warfare is is very they have a um, monopoly it's a very strong monopoly and i think in the past they had more power because people trusted in their media and their governments like when 9 11 happened the whole world thought this was al-qaeda i mean there was a lot more trust in government back then, but right now I don't think people are trust the government or the media that much. And uh, so it's these elites have they don't have the as much power as they did in the past. Um, these Western elites are insane. They are a threat to the world, and by Western elites I mean certain interests again I can't just say all of them I don't know who they are I don't have their names but there are these people these evil diabolical <laughs> megalomaniacal cartoonish villains who want to who just don't want to let go of their uh, you know like when people have power they have a very hard time letting it go and uh, so we're we're in a very difficult spot. We're, we're in a very difficult spot. Um, and look what's happening in uh, in the in Africa in that Sahel region where France is being kicked out and the Russians are moving in. Um, so I have a theory. I have a theory, and this is just my speculation, my opinion. You know when Black Panther came out, uh, you know it was such a, a very successful movie, made a billion dollars, and so this is Black Panther character, the, you know the actor, he died re recently, right? This is like what forty three or something. He died. My, I, this is sort of like a <laughs> my conspiracy. I think the someone killed him. Uh, an intelligence agency, someone killed him because he's a black man and he's a symbol of uh, uh, like uh, someone black people in Africa could look up to and say, wow, that guy is so inspiring, uh, you know. So he, even though he was like an actor, the movie was so successful that these intelligence agencies, they don't want... They want the the West wants to keep on exploiting Africa in the Sahel region. There's a lot of I don't know, resources there, so they want to keep the Africans down. But because this guy, even though it was a movie and an actor, he was like a symbol of, you know, African strength and, and you know, and then maybe they couldn't have that. They have to keep on suppressing the African people. So they, I think, they killed him. I think they killed him. Uh, the same thing I think happens to like you know Martin Luther King and Malcolm X. Whenever there's a black guy who is going to be like a symbol of inspiration, the intelligence agencies, under the guise of national security or whatever, you know, we have, we can't let these <laughs> black people gain power. 
I think even Tupac was actually killed by uh, by uh, intelligence agencies because he was like standing up and he wouldn't. Uh, this is my opinion. I'm not. I don't have any evidence for it, but this is, this is. I haven't done research into this, but I'm just saying there is this pattern of killing black leaders, black men who are going to stand up, and the West wants to keep black people down, subjugated. So they always, whenever some uh, uh, black uh, uh, leader or a symbol of power and strength, they, they kill them. To, to to put to send a message, hey, we're gonna keep you guys down. We're gonna, you know, you guys can't, you guys can't rise up. It's not just in America. They will. They don't want even the people in Africa to rise up because Africa is a resource-rich country. This is evil. It's immoral. I don't think the West has any kind of claim to, you know, we are the exceptional. We everyone should be like us. No, no, this is evil. This is colonial. This is slavery. This is. This is just evil, uh, uh, bad. <laughs> uh, I don't. This is immoral. It, it, it's it's a it's a bullying. It's uh, um, it's like a bully. You know, a bully wants to just uh, keep bullying other people, put other people down. My solution is we again. It's better to have strong, a strong Africa, a strong China, a strong Iran, a strong Middle East, a strong Russia, even a strong West. I even want America to be strong, independent, and sovereign. And I think ever since they killed Kennedy, the, the whole American establishment has been taken over by these mafia, national security state type people. This deep, dark state is, you know, try to assassinating people or destroying their reputation. It's like a terrorist keeping everyone afraid. The world is controlled by terrorists, global terrorists, international terrorists, criminal cabal. Uh, if you try, so my, I, I vote for independent sovereign states i even want europe to be sovereign and independent i don't want i don't want the whole planet to be under the control under the thumb under the foot of these criminal cabal the military industrial complex is used as a tool to it's like the enforcer of the criminal elite cabal uh, so this is a very the battle here is not just about Hamas or Ukraine. There are huge geopolitical, there are huge, the whole planet, the future of this planet of humanity is at stake. I'm not saying humans should exist. I have a very dark view. I think life on planet Earth is, a, is temporary. Human civilization is temporary. I think this this 3D existence, there's there's something really bad about it. It's evil. If you look at nature, there's a lot of horror in nature. So, uh, you know, that's my philosophy. But even within this prison planet, what's happening on Earth among humans? Let's leaving leaving nature out. Just among humans, the humans are under tyranny. We have a global tyranny, and this is war. It's a it's a psychological mental because you have to free yourself from the propaganda <laughs> of, of western movies and music uh, they they make you believe this is like the, this exceptional idea is this a, it's a it's a psyop that, that 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 you have to it's a, it's a brainwashing you have to get you have to fight the mental propaganda the psychological slavery to the to the overlords They've got your hearts and minds, and I think a lot of more people are waking up. But this is, we are in a, we are being oppressed. Humanity is being oppressed. Things could be, I'm not going, I'm not saying thing, humans can live in utopia, but things can be far better if, if we all stand up and f fight these a very small number of people who are, it's like a mafia cabal who is terrorizing the planet using the military industrial complex, the media to to keep us all slaves. 
will it happen? I don't know. I mean, a nuclear war is a possibility. I mean, I mean, there's a lot of videos talk. They talk about the nuclear thing. I mean, that's that's a possibility. You know, things are you know difficult, very very difficult situation. 